today we're going to be doing a lot of web scraping and we're going to be using different web extensions like this extension clay here there's simple scrapper magical and there's much more just like data miner here and visual web scraper so we're going to go and use all of these extensions and scrap different websites and i'm going to show you different use cases you can use these extensions in so without further chatter let's dive right into it and explore how we can use these extensions for free and scrape data from the web really easily. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz. On number one on our list is Magical and I already have it installed. You can install it from the Google Web Store. So what I'm going to do, the use case that I'm going to showcase for Magical is going to be researching for a product as if I am a seller and I just want to explore the market. So let's just say that I like this computer case here. So what I can do is I can open this up in a new tab and I can go to another case. So let's say this one as well. So now I have two different options. Now what I can do is I can actually extract all the data from this page by just clicking on Magigo and then just going to this pen icon here. Now what I can do is I can just go on and add any of the information that I want. So we have the title, we have the price, the ratings. I think we have everything but Let's just say we want to include the color as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and select this part and I'm going to go and label this as color and then just add that. So now if you save this, you can see something like color popping up here, which is black, pretty good. And that's not all. We can even go on and select all the about. So I can go on and say this is about section. So I'm going to go and select everything. I'm going to name this about and just save this. So this way I get all the information about the case that I want. But this is just a simple use case. Now, once you do this, what you can do is you can actually go on to the other tab. And if you click on magical, you can see all the labels that we just created in the other tab. Everything is saved within magical and you don't need to repeat it, which is really mind blowing as you can see. And this is one of my favorite features as well. So once you're done with everything, what you can do is you can actually go on and pull all the information to a new spreadsheet, which is what I'm gonna do now. So let's just click on this icon here, which is add to a new spreadsheet. And this will open up a new spreadsheet. And one more thing, it will ask you which tabs information do you want to transfer to the spreadsheet. So yeah, I want the information from this tab and I want the information from this tab as well. So I'm going to go and say all tabs and yep, if you're using Magical for the first time, you need to grant Magical Assess inside your Google Workspace. So I'm going to go and do that and there you go. All the information is right here. The URL, the about, availability, the brand, the color, price and everything. And to be quite honest, it wasn't so hard to learn how to use Magical. But I want to show you another use case. Let's say you want to scrape something from TikTok or any other social media platform. So what you can do is just Go to TikTok, just like this one here. And all you have to do is just click on Magical and it will automatically make all the labels. So let's say I click here and there you go. All the labels are right here. You can see the following, the followers, likes, about, the name, everything is right here. And what you can do is you can just grab everything and just put this inside another spreadsheet. It will start populating the whole thing. And there you go, within a couple of seconds, the first name, job title and everything has been actually scrapped and pulled inside this spreadsheet using this amazing extension which is Magical. And I really love this one. So these were the two simple use cases for Magical that I really wanted to share with you guys. And I hope you understand the potential that Magical actually possess. With that said, let's move to the next scraping web extension. Number two on the list is going to be Clay. Now, I have an account with Clay and you can install their web extension through the Chrome Web Store. And once you have it, you can head over to any website because I love e-commerce. So I'm just going through e-commerce websites here. And the second website I'm going to go to is eBay. So let's say I want to go with one of these chairs. Let's say this one fits good. And once you open up the individual page for any item, what you can do is you can open up your Clay extension just like I have here. And what this would do is it would actually go on and detect everything automatically, just like here. So you can see this is a list of around 22 items. And what this would do is it would actually go on and detect images. And you need to actually export these images to your clipboard or you can download them as a CSV files. So it is up to you which way you wanna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and export this as a CSV file. 
and as you can see it is downloaded so this is really easy how you can actually go on and extract all the images and yep that's how you can use clay to actually scrap information from any website over the internet and i just did it within a couple of minutes and i downloaded the csv file which is sitting right here in my computer which actually scraped 22 items which are these images and I didn't pay anything to actually use this extension. So with that said, let's move to the next extension on the list. So the third extension is going to be a simple scrapper. Now, as the name suggests, simple scrapper is actually really simple. So if I open up my simple scrapper, as you can see, it will ask you a really simple question. If you want to scrape this website or not, and you can go and view the recipes and results and you can get a help guide. But I'm gonna go and scrape this website. So let's go and do that. So once I click there, what I can do is I can add properties. So the first property is going to be this one. I'm gonna go and name this information. So the first property that I wanna scrape is this information. Yep, I want that. So all the information is selected. The second property I want is the title. Then what we need to do is we need to just add the name of the property here. So I'm going to go and say this is the product info and just save this by clicking here. Now, the next thing that we need is going to be something like the title. So I'm going to go and select the title and I'm going to name this something like the product title here. And yep, that's it. So now we have the product title and the information. What else do we need? Um, I think this is enough, but what if we want to add the image as well? So I'm going to go and select the image as well. And I'm going to go and name this as product image. And that's all for now, I think. So once you're done with selecting everything that you need to scrape, what you can do is you can just go on and view the results. As for the product title, there seems to be some problem. But yeah, we can solve this later on for now. Let's just go and view the results first. So let's click on view results. And there you go. Now you have the product info. There you go. The product title, as I said, there was some issue with that. We can resolve that later on. But for now, I think this is really good and really simple how we can do everything within just a couple of seconds and scrap from any website. So the product title was it up to the par. So I'm going to go and select another property here. But this time I'm going to go and make sure that I select it completely because last time I made a mistake. And I'm going to go and name this time title. That's said. Now, if we view the results, you can scroll here and you can see that we have a title, which means that it is working this time. So this was how you can use simple scraper to scrape any website and you don't have to actually learn how to use this extension. They're really easy to get into. So with that said, let's move to the next web scraping extension on the list. And our number four on the list is Visual Web Scraper. So once you open up this extension, what it would do is it would guide you how you can go on from different steps to extract or start mining. So I'm gonna go and follow these steps. I'm gonna go with the first step, which is to select data group. So I'm just gonna go and click on this arrow here. And then I'm going to select this data group. So let's go and select that. So once you're done with selecting a group, you need to select different fields as I already did. And then you can name them anything you want. So I'm gonna go and name this news. As for pagination, if you have more than one pages, you can go on and add that bar, I think, this is enough for this one. So let's say I want to add another field. So I'm going to go and select, let's say just this full coverage field. And I'm just going to go and say by clicking here, this is the full coverage button. And let's go and start mining now. So as soon as you click on start mining, what it does is it actually opens that web page in a new browser and starts scraping down from there. And as you can see, there is the news, the whole news, the full coverage button. Yep. So these are the two fields that we were actually extracting from the data group that we selected. So yeah, I can go on and click here and export this as a CSV or a JSON. It's really up to me. So let's go and download that. I'm going to open this up and there you go. You have the news, although it is really not well structured, but yeah, it actually went on and scrapped the data for you. And what you can do is you can actually go on with the JSON format as well if you really want to do that. So it's really up to you which way you want to go. So this was visual data scraper through which we actually scraped some news from Google and it wasn't that hard. So with that said, let's move to the last one on the list for web scraping extensions. I don't want to mention this again. I didn't have to pay a single penny to use any of these extensions till now. 
And the last one on the list is gonna be data miner. Now I wanna be totally honest and I don't want to go and give you clickbaits. So yeah, this one is gonna cost you something. But if your usage is just within the capacity, which is a monthly scrape limit of 500 pages, then you don't need to pay anything. You can go with the startup plan, which is completely free. But of course, if your usage is more than 500 pages, then you will have to pay. I don't wanna be crystal clear with my audience, because our channel actually values honesty more than anything. So this time I'm gonna go and open up my data scraper and this is how it would look like. So you have some public recipes, you can make your own recipe and you can have a pinned recipe if you have. So I'm gonna go with the public recipe which is an automated recipe that was generated for me. So I'm gonna go and scrape this page. So let's go and do that. So once you click there, it's gonna open up this page here. So I'm gonna go to page scrape and here what you need to do is you need to pick up a recipe. So I'm gonna go with this recipe here because this is a detailed recipe for scraping everything. So I'm gonna go and scrape. So there you go. It actually went on and started scraping and everything is here. The whole information about the product. So this was just a single page scraping. But what if I want to scrape something more than a single page? Now, what if I want to scrape information about all the products here, all of these? So for that, what we need to do is open up our data scraper again. And there you go. Now you can scrape this page. I'm going to go and scrape page. You can choose any recipe. So I'm going to go and choose the Amazon TV link list 2024 recipe here and i'm gonna go and scrape this and there you go you have the url the titles and the price as well so you pretty much have all the information that you need so what you can do is you can just go on and download this you can download this as a csv file excel file or copy this to clipboard so i'm gonna go and download this as an excel file here and yep you need to allow permissions so there you go the download is complete so i'm gonna go and open this up and this is how it's going to look like there is the title the price everything is right here and you can go on and use this data to actually do product research so this was our last web scraping extension that we covered in this video and i hope this video was helpful in this video we talked about different web scraping extensions and different use cases that you can use these extensions in and i hope this video was valuable if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video we will continue to grab your skills with the latest tech till then stay curious and keep exploring